What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Before we crack on with this video, this video is sponsored and brought to you by One Football. This video is brought to you by One Football. If you want to download the One Football app, all you need to do is press the link at the top of my description, which will take you forward to where you can download this app. The One Football app is extremely useful if you are a huge fan football fan just like me it provides you with the latest footballing news transfer news and the latest videos as well it is one source of information of where i get my transfer news from it also allows you to see the latest scores with what's happening in the footballing world if you just click on a game including any manchester city game it will not only bring up the latest team news but it will also bring up the latest statistics and keep you up to date with everything happening in that game if you want to download this app all you need to do is press the link at the top of the description to stay up to date. Thank you very much to OneFootball for sponsoring this video. If you want to go and download that app, you can do so through that link at the top of my description. That would be much appreciated to help support the future content that is created on this channel. Don't forget also to subscribe if you are new around here and you uh, enjoying the content. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. We're on the big stride now towards the big number, 15,000 subscribers. So any help towards that will be much appreciated. Don't forget also social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and search for me and follow me on my social media. Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video aiming for 300 likes only help towards that would be much appreciated and don't forget also most importantly let me know your thoughts in the comments below as i'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers now before we do crack on with the transfer update i just wanted to give a big thank you to riffish uh, for providing the banner for the jsgc channel it is much appreciated a huge shout out to you absolute legend much love Let's crack on with this video. And we're going to start off first with some contract news. Now, first up comes in the form of Gabriel Jesus. Now, amid further interest from Juventus, it's been reported that Manchester City are planning to offer Gabriel Jesus a new contract in January to starve off interest and reward Gabriel Jesus for his hard work. He is still seen by Manchester City as that long-term Sergio Aguero replacement. That's what I'm hearing. Now, Sergio Aguero and an update on his new contract. Apparently, his contract is still on standby at Manchester City. And because of that, Barcelona, they're plotting a move to try and move in and make a swoop for him in January. This would come in the form of a contract offer uh, for a pre-contract agreement for him to sign next summer. This is according to uh, Jose Alvarez, who's quite reliable with news uh, with regards to Sergio Aguero. However, I'm doubting that Barcelona will be making any move for Sergio Aguero. Aguero and I say that because Barcelona simply do not have a lot of money and so they can't offer Sergio Aguero too much like Aguero could take a big pay cut and go there that is a possibility however if Man City are willing to keep him as one of the highest paid uh, players and that contract offer does come in from Manchester City I find it hard for Sergio Aguero to reject that to take a huge pay cut to then move to go to Barcelona Maybe, maybe not, doesn't really make sense, but we'll have to wait and see what happens to Sergio Aguero. I imagine it would be uh, a contract offers on standby because they're waiting to see how he responds to his injury when he comes back, uh, obviously, from that throughout November and into December. Now, into the outs, and it comes in the form of an update on Eric Garcia. Now, a source at Real Madrid have saying that they're having a good look at Eric Garcia too. However, Eric Garcia, he's a Barcelona-born boy, so I just don't simply see him joining Real Madrid. Barcelona and will offer Eric Garcia uh, a pre-contract agreement, an affordable agreement for Barcelona. And so I don't see anything else other than uh, Eric Garcia becoming a Barcelona player. Now, FCB World have said that Manchester City and Barcelona are talking uh, and apparently Man City have asked Barcelona for 15 million euros. The last time we heard was that Barcelona were willing to offer 4 million euros. Saga goes on. Here we go again. Will we find an agreement in January? Remains to be seen, but a pre-contract agreement, I am certain, will be found in January for at least 
Worst case scenario, Eric Garcia will become a Barcelona player for free next summer. That could still happen in January, though, if the two clubs do agree a fee, which obviously won't be 15 million euros. It also won't be 4 million euros. I imagine City will be looking for anything over double figures, uh, and they'll probably be happy with that. So we'll see what happens. Now, moving on, interesting story comes in the form of Issa Kabore at Manchester City. Now, apparently, Marseille are interested in chasing the Manchester City youngster in January. This comes from a Telefoot in France. They're reporting that Marseille are willing to pay Manchester City 5 million euros for the 19-year-old right-back who is currently out on loan at KV Mechelen until the end of the season. Now, I'm not too sure if this loan would continue if he was to sign for Marseille or whether Marseille would want to keep him from January. That loan had come to an end and becomes a Marseille player and stays with Marseille. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but I find it really interesting that a City youngster being linked with a move to Marseille. Now, moving on to the ins, and uh, we've got a manager in. We don't just do players, we do managers as well. And uh, it comes in the form of an update on Julian Nangelsman. Now, uh, Manchester City are once again being linked with a move for the RB Leipzig manager with Bild Reliable in Germany saying that City are definitely keeping a close eye on on Nangelsman. I've heard Pochettino be mentioned too. Nangelsman's the guy that Man City apparently are paying the most attention to. However, City's preferred option is for Pep to sign a new deal. It's been reported that Pep may be willing to sign a 12-month extension uh, and he'd want it as a 12-month rolling extension and when he feels like his ideas are up at City, he'd like to leave to apply his ideas then obviously to another club and he'd want new ideas coming into Manchester City. I would not rule out Pep Guardiola not renewing his contract and this being Pep's last season, to which case I would have thought this winter, I'm talking January, February time when we get our answer as to whether Pep will be staying at Man City or not, and I would have thought that had come probably the news via a press conference and Pep announcing that, that City would step up their interest in a manager, and it is being reported that if it is, it could well be Julian Nangelsmann, if you do believe the reports coming in from Germany. And I, if it is true, I wouldn't be surprised if City right now are in contact with different managers and agents, but we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, speaking of things we're keeping an eye on, Lionel Messi. Got an update on him. Now, ESPN are reporting that PSG, they're in contact with Lionel Messi's father, who's also his agent, about a potential move to the Parc de Prance. Now, uh, Manchester City have heavily been linked. Uh, I imagine the decision on whether Messi joins Manchester City or not would rely on what only uh, not only happens with Pep Guardiola, but also what happens with his good friend Sergio Aguero. If both of them sign new contracts, I would say that it, it becomes more likely that Messi could join Manchester City. However, there's a lot of hurt to get over. I will keep you up to date with everything happening, of course, with Lionel Messi, but I will save that for January and I won't bore you guys right now. Instead, we'll move on to the next transfer story. Comes in the form of an update on Jack Grealish. Now, uh, we've not had an update on this in months, but David Ornstein's been reporting that uh, City uh, are still letting uh, Jack Grealish know that they do admire him and are interested. Now, uh, I would imagine that if this was a signing, it'd be a signing that City would be making with homegrown status in mind. Uh, he's a good player, but uh, apparently a price has been put out there of uh, 70 plus million pounds. So City were getting linked with a 100 million pound swoop, not only for Douglas Louise, but for Jack Grealish as well. City's got an option to sign Douglas Louise in the summer for 30 million pounds. So that means the other 70 million pounds would be going towards Jack Grealish. My opinion, I think that's a little bit expensive. But that's my opinion. Uh, apparently, though, uh, with him signing a new contract, Aston Villa could be asking for more than 80 million pounds. It just doesn't doesn't seem like the kind of business that Manchester City would do. Now, if Aston Villa were willing to accept a little bit less, and I reckon we're talking about 50 plus million pound here, then uh, Jack Grealish could become an option at Manchester City. However, right now, in my opinion, I think that is simply just rumours. Now, Moving on, we've got a little bit of a striker update. Now, the Transfer Podcast have been reporting uh, that Manchester City want a short-term solution to their striker po problem in January. Now, all I can think of, possibly, would either be a free contract or a loan. So, what players are we talking? What players are out there? Uh, I know that a lot of fans have wanted us to make a move for Edin Dzeko, and I would say that's more fan fiction more than anything. Uh, logically speaking, I wouldn't have thought Edin Dzeko uh, would maybe be an option for Manchester City, and as much as I'd love Edin to come back to City, I'm not too sure that would happen. Looking elsewhere, uh, I know that Mario Mandzukic uh, is an option. Uh, I think he's a free contract, so that could be something that City maybe pursue on either a six-month or an 18-month contract if Aguero does sign that 12-month extension just to tie things over. Um, we're City looking long-term, maybe, perhaps. Uh, Luka Jovic, apparently available for loan from Real Madrid, could be another option. 
remains to be seen. Always wait till January. We will have our answer. Now, moving on to the craziest story of this transfer update. And our last story comes in the form of Sergio Ramos. Really weird one, this one. Uh, but he's been linked with a move to Manchester City in the summer, and ESPN have been reporting that Man City want Ramos on a pre-contract agreement. So because of that, I am going to presume that his contract is up with Real Madrid at the end of the season. I just feel like this is really unlikely. High wage, old, Real Madrid legend. Man City have lots of ties with Barcelona, not Real Madrid. We've got Pep Guardiola here. We've got the former Barcelona Chiefs here. So Sergio Ramos, a legend at uh, Real Madrid coming to City. I'm not sure if I'm completely honest, but on the other end of the spectrum, he is a very experienced central defender, a fantastic leader on the pitch and off the pitch, and would be great for youth development if we was to put him on a 12-month or a 24-month contract. However, if we do bring in Ramos, what does that mean then for Taylor Harwood Bellis' development? Would he be heading out on loan? Also, I would have thought it would take for John Stones to leave. We know that Eric Garcia will be leaving Manchester City, and that, in my opinion, is the catalyst then for Harwood Bellis to get that call up as soon as Garcia does leave in, in and around the City uh, first team and being that fifth-choice centre-back for City. Um, if Stones does leave, though, and I would say that is quite realistic in the summer that City could then maybe make a move for Sergio Ramos. Uh, and I know that centre-backs is definitely not something that City need to prioritise right now. However, I am hearing word that City are not done in the centre-back market just yet. And uh, either in January or in the summer, City will be looking at one more centre-back. Will that come in the form of a young player like Upa Meccano? Will that come in uh, the form of a, a teenager? Will that come in the form of an experienced central defender? It remains to be seen. I'm certain City won't be spending big like they did on Ruben Diaz. And so Ru uh, Sergio Ramos would tip the box of it being free uh, and an easy option for City to bring in. However, high wage, I'm not so sure. But I would like to know your thoughts of that in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video as well. Like I said, we are aiming for 300 likes, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Let me know your thoughts off these transfers in the comments below, as I'm always interested in what you do have to say. Subscribe if you're new around here, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on to be notified immediately for when I do upload daily Manchester City transfer update throughout January for that winter transfer window, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Don't forget also social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. We're nearing in on a thousand followers actually on Twitter, so any help towards that uh, would be much appreciated. And don't forget also, if you are interested and you want to go and download that one football app, then please make sure you do that through the link at the top of my description. That really helps me out, by the way. So please, if you do want to download the app, do do that through that link at the top of my description. The app is free. And I'll see you all again very soon for the next Manchester City video. I've been JSGC. I hope everyone is safe and well. Thank you for watching. Peace. Ciao for now.